Hey dolls, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I'm gonna be showing you guys how I style my favorite pixie wig. The infamous Janet Collection Mommy Wig. This wig is my favorite, it's my go-to wig. Like, majority of the time you see me, I'm wearing this wig. Although, a lot of people might not know that I'm wearing a wig because of the way that I style the wig. So I'm gonna be showing you guys how I do that, how I make the wig look natural and just look like it's going from my head. So let me tell you a little bit of, about the wig. You could get this wig at pretty much any beauty supply store in your area. It's under $30 and this wig is just everything. It's a wig that you could just pop on and go and it's really fun. So let's just jump into the video. So you're gonna look real crazy when you initially put the wig on. <laughs> so yeah, you're supposed to look like this, okay? It'll be real crazy, but don't worry about that because we're gonna be looking snatched and looking like a baddie in a little bit. All right, so I just like to play with the curls. I just kind of unravel the curls a little bit. Let me turn that. Not too much because I want I want the hair to still be a little bit curly. But hey guys, so you want to get your scissors. I'm gonna cut the hair a little bit. So I'm just gonna run my fingers through it like this and I'm gonna just clip it. You don't have to be a professional. You All you have to do is just clip it a little bit, that's it. And this could get messy, so if you guys have like a barber cape or whatever, you could throw that on. And then I'm gonna do the middle. It's a little bit too long for me. So you could just run your hand through it like this just to see like the longer sections. And what I like about this wig is that it will just like, once you get the longer section, like the rest of the hair is just laid and it's flat. So you don't have to go in too deep. I'm making this part a little bit thinner than how it came. So you could just run your hand through it like this just to see like the long, the longer, just to get the longer sections. And what I like about this wig is that it will just like, once you get the longer section, like the rest of the hair is just laid and it's flat. So you don't have to go in too deep. So 
so a lot of you might be wondering like why I'm doing all of this extra stuff and I wear and I already have a pixie cut but the truth is like when you wear this wig you don't have to do much with your hair like you don't have to style it it's a little bit curly it's funky all you gotta do is just add a little mousse and a little water run your fingers through it and you're out so I like to switch it up a little bit Sometimes I don't feel like curling my hair or styling my natural hair. So I just throw the wig on and go. All right, dolls. So once you have it cut down to your liking, um, you could take your mousse. Do a few pumps and just kind of massage it into your hair. So what I like to do is I like to push the wig back a little bit just so I can use a little bit of my baby hair. And this is just to make it look a little bit more natural. And then I just kind of push it up and tease it like that. So this, with these wigs, the, um, the sideburns can be a little bit stubborn so I like to use that to be just a little bit to hold it down yes honey